To get to the oil cooler on your 991 Gen 1, you are going to have to move or remove a lot of components, as well as drain and refill the cooling system. Some people will just pinch the coolant lines off, but you're going to have an opening directly into the engine case, and I prefer to drain the coolant so there is no chance of contamination. Make sure that you order all of the gaskets and fluids necessary before you begin so as not to hold you up during reassembly. Begin by removing the engine cooling fans, rear wing, tail lights, rear bumper guard, air box, drive belt, and throttle body. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with all those tasks. If you are going to drain the cooling system, please follow the link provided again for additional assistance with that task. Perform a partial engine drop. Again, if you need assistance, please follow the link provided at the end of this video. Remove the resonance tube and the 4-6 to six air distributor or intake manifold. Move the air conditioner compressor out of the way without disconnecting the lines. Again, please follow the link for assistance with all of those tasks. Remove the oil filter tube and remember to replace the gasket. Using proper hose clamp pliers, remove the two clamps on the coolant line to the oil cooler, blue arrow. On vehicles with PDCC, hydraulic lines are also fitted on the heat exchanger or cooler. Your cooler may look different than this one. If you have not drained the coolant, this is where you would use clamps to clamp off the coolant hoses going into the cooler. If needed, run a pick around the inside of the hoses, red arrow, and separate them from the cooler. Inspect the hoses and replace as needed. Fully loosen the fittings on the high pressure fuel lines. There are two on the left side, red arrows, and one where it attaches to the fuel rail on the right side. Use an E10 torque and remove the two mounting bolts where the high pressure fuel line brackets attach to the engine block, blue arrows. Remove the metal high-pressure fuel line from the engine and compartment. Use a T30 torque and remove the two screws, blue arrows, on the left side of the cooler and the four on the right side. Do not remove the E12 torque screws. Again, on vehicles with PDCC, the hydraulic lines are also fitted on the heat exchanger. Your cooler may look different than this one. Remove the cooler from the engine. It will still have coolant in it, so make sure you do not spill it down into the opening in the engine. There will also be oil inside the cooler, so try and keep it level. Immediately plug the two holes for the oil openings. Clean the mounting surface well and always replace the gaskets, blue arrows. Grease the gaskets with Porsche synthetic grease or equivalent. Installation is the reverse of removal. You will also need to fill and bleed the cooling system if you drained it. Torque the six T30 screws on the oil cooler to 10 newton meters or 7.5 foot pounds. Torque the high pressure fuel line mounting bracket to 10 newton meters or 7.5 foot pounds and the connecting nuts for the high pressure fuel lines to 25 newton meters plus or minus 3 newton meters. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.